Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toyscope Base channel in Malaysia. On the channel today, I'm checking out more of the classic 1980s GoBots and from the 1984 Super GoBot series from Tonka Toys. Here's the yellow Volkswagen bug with a bite. Bug bite. Now, in the 1980s, you had Bumblebee for the Transformers as the single most popular and easily recognizable transforming yellow Volkswagen in pop culture. In fact, if I just left this out there and someone who casually didn't know what it was specifically, well, you know, he would probably just go, hey, Bumblebee. So imagine my surprise when I found out that this guy came out around the same time in the 1980s as the Transformers and most people, including myself, had never heard of him. So yes, Bug Bite is another transforming yellow Bumblebee-like vehicle from the 80s. But the twist is, he's evil. That's right, he's a bright and sunny looking ride but he's the bad guy. Now, I'm happy that this unit still came with the original decals applied. I like how it spells out Beetle on the sides here. This, in its vehicle mode, is a very well-defined and represented Volkswagen Beetle. In fact, it's pretty much spot on with some great added-on bits like a translucent plastic sunroof. You get all the die-cast chrome bars on the front and back just by itself even without it having to transform. This right here is an excellent model of the car, all right? It's an excellent looking Volkswagen Beetle, with the bonus being that it also has an alternate robot mode, which we'll get to in a bit. Now, as with most of the GoBots at the time, Bug Bite here comes with all rubber wheels, okay? Now, check this out, okay? This is how you want all your car models to be, with rubber wheels and smooth rolling action, all right? Look at this, okay? Just fantastic stuff here. Now, Bug Bite belongs in the Super GoBot scale. So, he's larger than the standard regular GoBot. And here he's alongside Turbo, so you can see the size comparison. And it's a fairly big one, all right? Some of the regular sized GoBots did also get the upsize treatment to Super GoBot scale, but Bug Bite is only available in this form, okay? Like almost at the scale of some of the G1 Transformers car robots of the 80s as well. Now, being of a Super GoBot scale, he has a slightly more intricate way of being transformed, uh, but not by that much also. First thing you wanna do is just fold out the front wheel sections here, which will also reveal his hidden arms. Then work your way back to the rear here, and just pull down the rear wheels. Now, the rear wheels are in fact connected to the legs. So once you push down this whole section, you get the legs being formed. And in fact, you'll notice that the feet are actually the seats within the vehicle itself. Okay, although the seats are not actually visible when it's in vehicle mode, but once you get them exposed, you'll see that, hey, yeah, I mean, these actually form the seats. Okay, with him now standing up, just fold out his arm sections like this. And this will also reveal his hands. The hands are like pincers, right? So. True to his name, he does have a very insect-like look and feel to him. Now, flip up the roof, okay? The roof section of the vehicle, which is tucked away at the back there. Just flip it up to the top like this. It just rests on the top of his shoulders like so. And yeah, I mean, basically, that's him right there, okay? You're looking at Bug Bite in his robot mode. Now, you may be shocked at first, okay? Wondering to yourself, just where in the hell is his head supposed to be? Well, apparently, uh, this is one of those robots that uh, well doesn't actually have a head like how you would imagine like a Transformers head to be like. Sometimes like with human features, eyes and a mouth and stuff like that. Um, this one is just one of those robots that has a head formation, okay? Sort of like, you know, Ironhide and Ratchet from their G1 modes. They didn't actually even have a you know, fully formed head of sorts. So uh, this is one of the areas that, you know, was a little bit hard for me to accept. But I guess uh, you can go along with it, right? Um, if you rotate him around to the back here, uh, he looks really empty, okay? Uh, but for the front, yeah, he looks good, okay? He has a very insect-like look to him, all right? With his name, you know, his chosen car mode, and also, well, the details on his body and stuff like that. You know, he does have a very insect-like look to him. He looks like a beetle, basically. So the you know, roof forming his head also looks like a beetle, right? Like an insect-like beetle. If you're expecting a more conventional looking Transformers type robot, this is not it. Uh, but it is interesting, okay? I mean, after a while, you know, I kind of like, you know, got more attached to it. And I have to admit, okay, this thing is missing one accessory piece. It's like a twin laser cannon attachment that's supposed to go on his roof, on top of his head, I believe, uh, in car mode and also in robot mode. Uh, I don't have that one, all right? But everything else is here. And uh, for what it is, you know, I think that this is a pretty interesting design. You may be shocked to learn also that 
all of the enemy car robots uh, that are in the Super Gobot scale, I believe, transform in the same way as well. They all have no real defined hits, uh, not just Bug Bite here. But uh, Bug Bite is, you know, a very cool looking Gobot, right? A very cool looking Super Gobot. Uh, and I feel that, you know, again, you know, this is just an example of a vehicle that existed from the GoBots line that just didn't get you know, much exposure back in the 80s, right? Unless more people would be talking about him like, yeah, the evil Bumblebee, okay, you know? Yeah, he would have really stood out because of that. But uh, as it is, you know, he's here now for collectors in the modern day, in the present era to rediscover again. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know what you thought of him in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content right here. Thank you and take care out there.